Metal Man. Summer's hanging on like a big old bear, sticking on the city, cooking it good. And I'm heading over to see the Metal Man. Where are you going, Devin? It's my little sister, Asia. You know where, I say. She don't follow because she's scared of the noise, but I ain't. His name's Mitch, but I don't call him that. He's got his green metal door slid up and open like a big old dragon mouth. Sparks are flying. It's all loud and grindy, and I know the metal man's working. What you making, metal man? I say. He don't answer. He never does. What do you see? That's all he says. It don't look like nothing yet. But he pulls out his fire torch. It howls like the elk train coming, and he starts me melting metal pieces on. They stick hot and red, like my sweaty back on the plastic bus seats cooking together. Sweat's pouring down the metal man, but he don't stop. Mama says the metal man ain't really working. That ain't art, she says. It's junk. Making junk out of junk ain't a real job. But I don't know. Looks like work to me. I see a heart, I say. Yup, he says. What else? A spider web, all sticky and long, I tell him. Is that right? The metal man stares at me hard and strong. Is that what you see, he asks me. Uh-huh. Then it's right. When I hang out with the metal man, I get it right. I see what I see. Not like school. Can I try something? I ask. He don't even answer. He don't have to. That torch will tear you up like a thousand killer bees. You don't mess with that, he always says. But today he looks over at me. What do you want to make? He ain't never said that before. I think real hard, eyes gritted up tight. I got a spark in my head, but I ain't saying it with my mouth. I don't know, I say. It's a lie, but I tell it anyway. Yeah, you do, he says. Don't be scared, boy. Bring it on out to play. That metal man can see inside me like glass. I want to make a house in a star, I say. You want to live in a star, that metal man asks. Maybe, I say. Back all mad and growly because I know it's dumb. That's cool, he says. Let's make that star house. He picks some metal out of the heap. It's all covered in scuzz. And heads over to the big old saw with the barbed wire blade. He looks back at me, that metal man. You coming? He asks. It's your star house. He yanks out his deep sea goggles. Two sets this time. And we squeeze them on. Then that, stop, that saw starts squealing, and I feel it cutting into my metal like a shark on a fish grinding through it with those teeth. We cut and cut, star fronts, star backs, star sides. It ain't much yet, but that's okay. What's the house look like, he asks me. I don't know, I say. Yeah, you do, he says back. Draw it out in your head and tell me how it goes. There's a chimney and some windows and a round door. I tell it all and the metal man cuts the pieces. You stand back now, he says. 
Killer bees, remember? That angry fire kicks up out of his torch, burning together windows and doors and sides of a star house I made in my head. I thought it was dumb at first, but that fire torch don't think it's dumb. It looks glad, I think, sizzling off fiery and fierce. He turns off the fire with the chuff. The metal's all charred and black and burnt, but that's okay, because I know the grinder's coming. I know what's hiding underneath that crud. He digs in, sending sparks everywhere, and that metal starts shining, all silver and blue. It was under there all the time. Summer's frying up the block outside, but I'm seeing silver hearts and spider webs in my very own star house coming together in the middle man's sparks. I know what Mama says, but it don't look like junk to me, all shiny and ferocious. Back home, Asia's yelling at a dog, and I'm slipping in, quiet and soft. Hey, son, where you been? It's Mama. You know where, I say. What's the junk man making today, she asks. Part of me don't want to show... But I gotta. There's a fire in me, just like that torch. This, I say, bringing out my shining silver thing. Mama looks hard, turning it up and down. It's got your name on the back. You make this? Kinda, I say. I'm sweating outside, but my breath feels icy inside me. Out of junk? She asks. Yup, I say. She clunks it down on the air conditioner, that place where everybody hangs out. Well, it sure ain't junk now, says Mama. Summer's cooking the streets outside, baking them black. But everything's cool and comfy inside by the silver star. I'm seeing things different, and maybe Mama is too. All because of that fiery middle man... And don't forget to subscribe.